Today I'm sharing how to make this chocolate chip cannoli cake. It's made with chocolate chip cake layers, which are made from my favorite vanilla layer cake recipe, plus one cup of mini chocolate chips. The filling for this cake is made from both a little bit of ricotta and mascarpone, so it's a bit thinner than normal frosting. To help make sure that stays between the layers, I've piped a frosting dam around the perimeter of the cake using a bit of chocolate buttercream. I also added a drizzle of chocolate ganache and a little bit of mini chocolate chips on top of that. I repeated this process with my remaining cake layers. These are 7 inch cake rounds and the recipe for the entire cake is up on chelsweets.com. I chose to incorporate chocolate frosting and mini chocolate chips into this cake because chocolate covered cannoli are my favorite, but if you like a different flavor and you want to incorporate that into this cake, you can totally do that as well. Some other popular flavors could be pistachio, hazelnut, espresso, the options are limitless. Once the layers are all stacked, press down to make sure there's no air bubbles between the layers. Next, apply a thin creme coat of frosting using a small offset spatula. Once the cake is fully covered and nicely smooth, chill the cake in the fridge or freezer for about 5-10 to 10 minutes until the frosting is firm to the touch. Next, add on a second, thicker layer of frosting. I like to pipe on my second layer to ensure that I get a really nice, even distribution of frosting around the entire cake. The piping bag is optional, but it makes it a lot easier to get nice, smooth sides on your cake. I chose to frost the cake in a vanilla buttercream to really add a nice contrast against the chocolate buttercream that we use to pipe around the inside of the cake. If you want to see a full, in-depth tutorial on how to frost a cake with smooth sides, click the info card in the upper right corner of your screen. The most important tool for getting nice, smooth sides is a bench scraper. Once the sides are smoothed, use a small offset spatula to smooth the edges. Next, gently press some mini chocolate chips around the base of the cake. And then comes the really fun part, the chocolate ganache drip. Be sure that your cake is thoroughly chilled before adding on the chocolate drip. This will help ensure that you don't have any runaway drips and that they stop partway down the cake. However, there's no right or wrong way to do a chocolate drip. Some people like when it runs to the cake board and pools a little bit, so you can do whatever you think looks best. Once the drips are in place, I added a bit of the leftover vanilla and chocolate buttercream into a piping bag fitted with a Wilton 1M tip. I piped some really large swirls on top of the cake to ensure they're big enough to support the mini cannoli that I'm about to place on top of them. While I do love cannoli, I'm by no means an expert at making them, so I picked some up from a really great bakery around the corner. I cut them in half and alternated regular cannoli and chocolate covered cannoli. And just like that, our chocolate chip cannoli cake is complete. If you guys like cannoli, you're definitely going to love this cake. Don't forget, the recipe is up on chillsweets.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next in the comment section below.